So I wanted to do a, another video that wasn't about mental health, really. There is gonna, I'm gonna touch on mental health later on to sort of explain things, but I wanted to talk about what I did this week, <laughs> which was, as you probably already know, if you follow me on any social media, because I posted it a lot, or if you've just looked at the title of this video. But basically, well, firstly, I got my ears pierced, because I don't actually have, obviously I didn't have my lobes pierced, so I got them done. And then I got a tattoo. It's only a small one, but yeah, I I went out and I got a tattoo, which is incredibly wild for me at least, because I'm terrified of needles. Um, at high school, whenever we used to get like injections, I would cry and I would completely freak out. And like I had a blood test the other week and I was so scared because I hate needles. So it was quite <laughs> a step for me to go from hating needles to getting a tattoo. But yeah, that's what I did on Wednesday, which was, it was a very fun Wednesday, <laughs> to say the least. So on Wednesdays, I finish early from college and I usually just go home, make myself lunch and do some work at home. But this week I went back into town and um, I messaged my friend and I was like, do you want to come with me to get an ear piercing? And she was like, yeah, sure. And I was like, great so we went to this ear piercing place and i only got my lobes done because i don't have anything pierced and my friend got her tragus done and while she was getting that done i was sat there like uh, like i was so scared i was like oh, it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt so much it didn't <laughs> the piercing guy and my friend were both looking at me like what an amateur and like because i was scared about getting my ear lobes done and they did it just with like the gun or whatever and it didn't hurt in the slightest and then I was like, maybe this fear of needles is completely irrational. And I wanted a tattoo for ages and I turned 18 last month. So I was like, you know what I could do? I could get a tattoo, <laughs> which was a really weird thought to have. So I messaged someone else and I was like, can you get walking tattoos? Like, I just always assumed you have to get an appointment or whatever. Cause I don't know, I just always thought that. And I think you obviously do if you get like a massive one, but mine's really small. So then she was like, yeah. And I was like, will you come with me? And she was like, yeah sure i was like cool so we went to the tattoo studio and i went in and i asked could i just get one and they were like yeah it'll be like 40 minutes for the guy to get ready so it only cost 40 pounds which i thought was really cheap like obviously it is a very small tattoo but i just always assumed tattoos would be really really expensive and it didn't even take that long either because again i thought it would take forever it took 40 minutes so it was it was pretty much over and done with like on the straight way like it wasn't a long time for me to have the needle in me so it wasn't too bad and yeah so during the 40 minutes I went back into town and I bought myself the cling film and the cream I needed to put on afterwards so then we went back and we talked to the people and I was like is there anything I need to do before I get it done and they were like have you eaten today and I was like yeah. and they were like go eat <laughs> or you might pass out and I was like well, I don't want to pass out. So I went and I got myself a white chocolate bueno because they are the loves of my life. <laughs> and then I went back and I was like, hey, okay. So I ate that and then I went upstairs and I spoke to the guy. And at first they drew it on with Sharpie. Um, so he drew it quite big at first. Like it was a lot bigger than it is now. So I, I looked in the mirror and I was like, yeah, it's quite big that. And I was like, I don't really like it. But I was like, I don't want to tell him. I didn't want to be like a faff or anything. I don't want it because he just drawn it on with Sharpie for like five minutes or whatever. So I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. And then the guy could obviously tell it was a bit like. And then he was like, do you want me to draw it again? I was like, if you could. <laughs> so he drew it slightly small. And I was like, yeah, that's that's a lot better than <laughs> like, obviously I liked it. But like, I just didn't want it too big. So it was OK. And then I had to lie down on this table and he just told me, make sure you breathe. And I was like, of course I'm gonna breathe. I didn't breathe. <laughs> so basically when they do it, I, for some reason, every time I put the needle on me, I held my breath. Don't know why. And then he was like, kept reminding me like breathe. So then as I did do it, I did start to breathe, obviously. Um, I had to think about it a lot, but when I thought about it, I could. So at first he was like, I'm gonna do a small bit first. And if you see it, there's like small little bits on it. So I was like, okay, you can't back out of this now. The minute he puts that needle on you, there's no walking away from this. Cause like, otherwise I was gonna have a black line on my, on my like rib and like that would just look weird. So I was like, you have to go through with this. You can't back out. No matter how, how painful it is, you gotta go with it. So he did it and I held onto my friend's hand for dear life. Like the pain wasn't unbearable, but it wasn't pleasant. I think that's the best way to describe it. It was, um, 
it's sort of the lines were a lot more painful than the actual dots in it obviously like the lines it just how did it feel it felt like the needle was sort of like carving my skin which it not really is but like it just that's sort of what it felt like it i feel like that sounds very dramatic but that's sort of how it feels like it's not unbearable as i said like they kept reminding me like some people sit in these places and get them for six hours straight i'm sure you could cope with 40 minutes so i was like okay okay uh, but it, like in the photos i look like i'm in agony um, but i think i have quite a low pain tolerance so maybe that was sort of part of it and i was just holding my friend's hand but then once he'd done the lines he was just doing the dots on it so that wasn't too bad like that that didn't hurt like i could sort of relax a bit more then so as i said it only took 40 minutes so like after that i was like is it done he was like yeah i was like oh thank goodness I was just so glad. Um, I didn't know if I could cope with much longer. I don't know how people get really big ones, but that's probably just me. So then I looked in the mirror and I was like, I really like this. Like, I was really happy with it. And I showed my friend, I was like, do you like it? And she was like, yeah. I was like, yes. Um, so I was really, really happy with it. And I hadn't actually told that many people that I was getting it. So that was a fun thing afterwards. But anyway, so um, I also showed the other people in the place. I was like, hey. And the, the also, it was really nice. So I was really happy with it. And yeah, so I thought maybe I'd explain the reason why I got it and stuff. So, obviously I said, because of the piercing or whatever, it didn't hurt that much, so I thought I could get this tattoo, and I've always wanted one for a while. And I sort of chose, like, a branch flower thing um, that I'd seen on the internet, because I liked that idea, but the reasoning behind it was slightly different. Um, I wanted a flower because sort of they represent growth or whatever, and that's what I wanted to do, because I was having a very, very low time over the past few weeks. <laughs> As I said, I... I'm going on to mental health a bit now but basically I had a very very low time because I had a bit of an incident where the health care I was going to get for my mental health was being very very slow and I, I just felt like I wasn't getting it fast enough and I was sort of losing hope I was like maybe I'm never going to get help for this maybe it's never going to get better and I was really really down about this like I was really really upset it was really taking a huge toll on me I was finding college work more difficult again and it was just really hard for me um because I could feel myself going down into that place I didn't want to be again so yeah that's why I thought maybe I should get this tattoo maybe it'll give me a reason just to find things exciting again like I feel that's sort of what I did it made me more excited about things again like something so beautiful on me because I think it's beautiful and then another reason was like I have a few scars on me this is a bit not fun to talk about but I as I said I have hurt myself a couple of times more than a couple of times but um yeah but whenever I did them I never thought about it I never thought these scars are going to be with you forever and the horrible marks on me like I hate them um I don't want to go into too much detail about any of this because it's not nice to talk about but yeah they're not nice things but I didn't think these are going to be with me for life these horrible horrible marks are going to be with me for life so I wanted a new mark on me. I wanted a new thing that's permanent and I wanted it to be beautiful and I wanted it to represent like growth or whatever because I, I want to get better, as I said. I want to do this for myself. I just want to be happier. So that's why I got something so beautiful on me. So it sort of the newest permanent thing on me is this rather than any of those horrible marks on my legs. So that's why I was just really, I was really happy with it and I felt it was something very important for me to do. So that's sort of the reasoning behind it and stuff. That's why I did it. And yeah, anyway, afterwards, um, off this sad stuff afterwards. So I said I hadn't told many people before I got it. So I got out of this place and I put it on my Snapchat. I was like, I got a tattoo. And I got my friend calling me like, did you get Taylor Swift lyrics on you? And I was like, no, I didn't. Um, I didn't get Taylor Swift lyrics on me. So then um, she was like, okay, okay. So I waited till I got home before I actually sent people the picture and stuff. So I sent people a picture and I'm like, oh, it's all really nice. And then I waited for my sister to get home so I could show her. And then I posted it on Instagram. Um, and yeah, people were really nice about it. People said it was really pretty and everything. And it made me really happy. And then I went to college the next day and I was like, guys, look at this. I'm <laughs> showing everyone because I was just really excited about it and stuff so yeah that's sort of all of it in a nutshell I think I think that was sort of just explaining why I got it some of the questions people have asked like whether it hurt or whatever so if I you follow me on like any social media you'll probably have already seen my tattoo but if not it's here um 
So that's like the flower and stuff, that's like the bits he did at the beginning and like they're the dots. You can't really see because I'm a bit far away. But if you look on my Instagram, you can see that like dots and stuff. So anyway, if you liked my video, please like, like and subscribe, whatever to me. And I'll put my Twitter and Instagram in the description if you want to like message me about like anything or whatever. And it means a lot if you did actually watch this video. And I hope you liked it. <laughs>